ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. We've got it to what is now about 350 yards from our stag. He's still bedded. We're going to set up and uh, wait for him to stand up. We might crawl a little bit closer. Um, 350. Yeah, doable with Scarlet. And my sniper over here. Where is he? There he is. on March the 5th, our 17th year of outfitting, where we welcomed Mike and Paul from Texas. Welcome to 2024. Just 11 weeks prior, I'd been out and about filming what had grown what in our hills. Fair to say, after a handful of excursions, we were quietly confident that all of the awesome people that have booked hunts with us will get the opportunity to take an absolute ripper. Not three times, one time. Just one time. Rock, paper, scissors, no, not diamond. Just go. There you go. All's it. All's it. <laughs> Number one. Paul will get All a big right. stag. You'll get a really big stag. No, no, let's redo that. Let's redo that. Even though Paul had won the Rock, Paper, Scissors Championship, he kindly allowed his buddy Mike to hunt first. Paul was now up, and he'd indicated to us that he was after something big. The old stags, just pre-rut, they're not really doing much. They let all the young ones run around and roar and waste all that energy, and then the big old stags just wait until the first hinds start to cycle. Then they move in and uh, chase the young ones away. It's kind of, kind of like the stud that walks into the nightclub at 11 p.m. after all the young king guys have bought a bunch of girls some drinks, and he just uh, pushes the young guys out of the road and says, uh, "Come home with me, baby." It's like you rehearsed this story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was one of those young guys that got told to beat it time and time again. <laughs> Look at the excitement. Look at him. There he is. Paul, Paul has become besotted. Huh, I'm a little excited. Paul has become besotted with this beast. There's a valley in front of us and already early afternoon we can see a handful of stags come out. It's pretty exciting stuff. So this was day four. We'd hiked into a position, a spot that 
I knew relatively well. It's a pinch point in the valley. We were about 600 yards from where we had last seen that stag go to bed. He had now moved, we couldn't see him, but I guess we were waiting in anticipation for that animal to come out in the evening cool and graze back down the valley towards us, right where we would have our sniper ambush. After a few hours waiting, finally that stag appeared, heading our way. 600 yards was going to become a whole heap closer. Looked up, next thing you know, here he comes. He came right down through the creek, uh, just like BJ had planned for him to. <laughs> right over in front of us and took about a 230 yard shot and here he is. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you very much, BJ, I really appreciate it. Top class, uh, number one outfitting in New Zealand for sure. <laughs> so, uh, Papa Stag and Baby Stag were up at the top of the hill looking down, this big bunch of hinds running down through the field, playing and jumping around. It was about that time of the year, and Baby Stag looks over at Papa Stag and says, Papa Stag, Papa Stag, hey, let's run down there and shag one of those hinds. Papa Stag looks over at Baby Stag and says, No, son, be patient. Let's walk down there and shag all of those hinds. <laughs> Terry was an experienced hunter from Montana and a good fella. We put in quite some effort getting close to his stag. After seeing it the first time, around about 850 yards away, we had to traverse the valley using all available cover to try and get closer. My plan was to get to about 200 yards from it. But we simply couldn't. Put those bags under. I'll dial it up for you in a sec. Just see what it looks like, see how comfortable you can get. It's 363. Bit of a stretch, it was 363 in the end. Dead stag, with no wind, and we dialed up for him, he had a lovely platform to shoot off him. He does have some long range experience. Thanks, BJ. That's some crowd doing that guy. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. Good job, mate. Terry the Terminator. <laughs> Terminator Ridge. Thank you again, BJ.
Good job. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Hold on, mate. Look at these crowns here. us three days to finally find Dennis's dream stag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Nice work, my man. Woo. <laughs> the menace. <laughs> Good shot, mate. I love it, man. Well Dream come true there, PJ. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> 